Hey guys, this is B, and welcome back to my channel. So what we have here is my planner for 2020. This is a Jibun Techo Biz. This is in B6 Slim. And before I share a flip through of my planner, uh, these are the two things that I use with this one. And the first one is a mild liner, which has a slanted uh, tip at the other end. And then the other one is pointed. This is mainly for um, shading for uh, hours of my work and then for tracking as well. Uh, my pen of choice, because I write small uh, for the most part, this is a Pilot uh, Kakuno. A fountain pen and it has a extra fine nib I own extra fine fine and medium that's the one that they carry for for this brand and the ink that's currently inside is a Lamy uh, Azurite so for this uh, planner uh, I have uh, two notebooks actually inside. The first one is the idea notebook. Uh, the idea notebook is just a set of notebooks actually and this is how it looks like. The back portion carries my two stencil ones uh, from from Kokuyo as well and then this paper right here is a, a little cheat sheet for the uh, bullet journal. Uh, this one is from, this is a reference guide by Tiny Ray of Sunshine. So I just keep that handy whenever I need it. And then the other side, it's just a receipt. So for the Jibun Techo, uh, there, these are the things that is located inside and I mainly use the I don't the three year calendar is uh, it's it's a it's a good way to be able to see like for the date as a immediate resource. I don't use the yearly schedule HR age charts just there. Uh, not this one. This I started initially. Uh, weekly plan weekly plan is uh, how you're going to use the techo. And it's this one. Uh, it's this one right here. So I have a template of that, and uh, I will use that template uh, for future use in preparation for this one right here. So this is a sub weekly supplement from Hobonichi, and this is how it looks like. So there are similarities between the two, so that's where I'm gonna use that one for. And then uh, I have uh, three things uh, bookmarked, the clips. I got this, uh, this is from Midori. And then I clipped the first one for favorite uh, phrases, whether I found it online, through a code, through social media, whatever, I write it in here. And then the second clip, is uh where is it this one the second clip is for my monthly uh monthly spread and then the third one is whatever is pending yeah those three yeah those three and then uh what else do i have recommendation list now I don't use same thing with this one this one this two I use also as well promise list no uh, free list okay for the free list uh, let me scan this is actually a recap of the years 2017 18 and 2019 so I have transferred over the things that I have from 2017 was using a Starbucks planner uh, 2018 was a Lordstrom bullet journal and then 2019 is a Rodia Go book so all it's in here 
as a summary per month. And then uh, monthly project, monthly schedule, weekly, I'll explain those. Uh, looking back on 2020, that's located at the far, at the very end. Uh, this one. So it's similar to my recap portion, but this is specifically for 2020, like for yourself and within your friends and family. And then, yeah, obviously personal data. And I'll talk about the uh, monthly project schedule and weekly schedule. So the monthly project, which is this first bookmark right here. So this could be used for whatever projects or you, uh, for me, I, I mainly track things in here. There's only a few items and I like the way it's being restricted. So you don't keep track of a lot of stuff wherein you won't be able to even track those. Cause I think, uh, what people try to do oh i want to track to do this i want to tra track this one how about i want to track like my water i want to track my 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 weight i want to track my uh exercise i want to track this i want to uh, there's a lot of things that you want to track but the question is why why are you tracking those and to me when when that uh, question came up I was like okay these are the only things that I'm gonna track first one um, 10 minutes to summarize that's actually 10 to 15 minutes uh, that is work related so before I end my shift I do a quick summary of what are the things that I finished what are the tasks that I've done what are the tasks that I haven't done that will transfer over for the next day all those things that's what I do for the summary so that I end the shift on time to be able to maintain that work-life balance. Next, uh, no spend days. So if I'm not spending, I would shade those. So those uh, with no markers, I spend. Next, uh, exercise or Freeletics. Uh, Freelet Freeletics is an app uh, where you use your own body weight to work out. Uh, there's a couple of things inside the app that I uh, like as well and then uh, exercise so whether I cycle or I go to the treadmill or any form of exercise whatsoever that's where I have and because uh, we're currently on a lockdown I haven't been good in tracking those and yeah next is uh, meditation so I also use an app for this one which is headspace and I do meditation uh, bef af as soon as I wake up I would spend maybe three to five minutes for meditation uh, when I'm doing time blocking uh, at work there's some sort of focus meditation that I also do and sometimes if I could not sleep for whatever reason I even use that one too and then sleeping uh, more than six hours you need those in order to be able to do what it is that you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis so I track that and then the last one is reading reading is anything whether if it's a nice article a couple of pages of a book or anything that you've read where you learn something from it not just because oh this is this is the current news that I need to know of no but it's more of the learning uh, portion and I've been pretty consistent which is a good thing so that's for the project portion now for the monthlies uh, I started with doodles because I don't know what to do with it so kind of just doodled this is using fountain pens and then brush pens to color them so December January February so you have that uh, March uh, this is when uh, the lockdown has started because of the pandemic so I it started on 18 of March so I have that and then I didn't know it would extend until a couple of months later so I just continued doodling and then it changed for the month of July uh, because uh, these are all stickers coming from let me see it's coming from this one 
so I also got this uh, I got this one from Kinokonea and I didn't have a use of the smiley ones and rather than shade the rather than shade those um, emotion thing boxes over here I decided just to use the stickers and that was fun and then for the month of August I tracked Hobonichi that's when I wanted Hobonichi system for 2021 and that's what I did for the month of August because they had that preview and on the side that's for the list of things that I want to buy uh, like wish list and you'll have to do that because if you just click on favorite and then just keep adding things to cart by the time you end up with the total bill it's gonna shock you so that's how you that's how I do it to be able to also discipline myself uh, for September this is just regular use of the monthly ones so whether uh, this one was I went on vacation to Langkawi here in Malaysia and then the rest is um, for meetings or anything same goes it translates over until October uh, this box right here is uh, another version of a lockdown because uh, uh, within within three states and that's why I took no that off here and then whatever I had for September pretty much translated same thing for October and I think that's the same thing that will happen for November and December however this one has January 2021 February and until yeah March so I have three months of I would use this as a template by the time I use the Hobonichi system and it's good you have like some sort of a like a scratch paper lux one next uh, we now move to the weekly so this is a weekly ver vertical overview of what it is that you have for the week and I used washi stickers and what else I even use stamps so I even attach important things and yeah this one uh, you get this when you buy something from stickerific and then I just color those and then yeah so it's it's a combination of washi stickers and I believe I have stamps as well ladder and yeah I have stamps ladder in the year so the stamps I got from everyday explorers and then yeah for the washi that one is uh, by masking tape MT and different designs and then that's it and the uh, the marker the last marker that I have if there's something that's um, pending for me sometimes I have to keep, uh, keep track for that and then the last bookmark would bring us to the latest week and how I would plan so that's for all the weeklies and then I already mentioned the end portion that's how it looks like and then there are extra notes actually at the far end portion which is similar to the idea so yeah that's my 2020 Jibun Techo planner. Thanks for watching.